One of the buttons that I think is the most useful on the calculator is the answer button, the ANS button. It's the one where it copies your previous answer with all of the decimals so you don't get any rounding errors. Sometimes you might have a really long question, a five or a six marker, and there are lots and lots of decimals, and you don't really want to round your answer until right at the end. Obviously, I try to use my answer button as much as possible, keep my previous answer in my calculator. When I do my new calculation, I'll just input ANS so that I can avoid rounding anything until right at the end of my question. However, sometimes you have so many different numbers you're juggling that you just need to kind of store one for a second, do another calculation and then come back to it. In this case, we can store numbers in our calculator as well, not just in the answer button. The answer button will only store your previous calculation answer. So that can get a little bit tricky. So if you want to store a number in your calculator, obviously do whatever your calculation was, get your answer there. So let's say I've worked out the radius in this really long cone question. As you can see, it's got loads of decimals and I don't wanna round them too soon because I'm gonna be inputting this multiple times in the rest of my question. So I've got my answer here. I'm gonna press shift and then find a button that says STO. STO as in storage. Press that and then just choose, do you see all of your letters here? I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. The pink letters on mine, I don't know if they're a different color on yours. Just choose one of those buttons to store it under. So let's say A. Do you see how now it says my answer has gone to A? So now when I want to work out the next phase in this question, I can just use the button A. So obviously I'm gonna press, in my case, alpha to get to the A. Yours might be different, just figure out how you can get to that A and the rest of my calculation. And there you can see it's given me another answer. Again, I've not cut off or rounded any of those decimals too soon.